Hey, you okay? You all right? About time you woke up. I was starting to think maybe they'd fried your brains or something. You got a headache, right? Don't worry. That'll get better. I don't know if it'll matter, but it'll get better. They must really like you. At least they let me keep my clothes. Looks like they stripped you of everything. Yeah? Well, then wake the hell up, because I'm tired of being stuck in it. Sorry, kid, but this is really happening. You're stuck here just like me. I've been here for a little while, but haven't found a way to... Shit. You hear that? It's coming again. Get back against the wall now. wasn't coming for us. We gotta get out of here. I'm thinking maybe now you can understand it's a good idea to get the hell out of here? What, you've never seen a giant metal claw scoop somebody up and carry them off to who knows where? I don't know where they're taking him, and I'm not interested in staying here long enough to find out. We gotta get out of here, kid. Now! Now you're talking. I can tell you, there ain't an easy way out of here. I've looked around, I can't find any panels, wires, circuits, nothing. I'm thinking they did us a favor putting us together in here like this. And I say we use it to our advantage. And for the record, the name's Soma. Nice to meet you. They're keeping an eye on us, you know. Watching us. So I say we give them a little show. Give them a reason to pay a little extra attention to us. They want us alive for something. Who knows what? Point is, if it looks like one of us is going to kill the other, they'll step in to stop it. So that's what we do. We throw a few punches, make it look real, and then jump them when they come in to break it up. It's worth a try. What's the worst that could happen? Nothing changes. Only we've got a few more bruises. Big deal. Let's give it a shot. I promise. I'll go easy on you. Oh, uh, okay. So does that mean you're in? All right. I'll hold back on you. Make sure you don't get too roughed up, okay? And you be ready. Soon as they come in to get us, you take them down. Yeah, we're really fighting now, aren't we? Ow! Ow! how long it'll be before they stop. Send more after us. Tear them up!
we supposed to do with it? You have to shut that off to open the door here. See the rest of this place? I've seen a bunch. I can show you if you want. Great! Well, so much for that idea. She suckered you good, huh? See? I told you I could help. Sure. I love exploring, and it's been a while since I've been out and about. We'll have to be careful, because they'll be mad that we're out. But it's okay. I know how to get through the steamworks. We need to get to the big engine room, so I can show you the rest of the ship. Let's go. Oh, I've been here a while. A long while. Sometimes, I can sneak out of my cell and go explore. I've seen a bunch of the ship. It's pretty neat. But they always catch me and put me back here. I don't have any family anymore. My mom and dad died a while ago before I ended up here. You know, back when all the bombs dropped on everything. Yeah, it was right after that. And then me and my sister, we got pulled up here. Except, I haven't seen her in a long time. Sure! We need to go to the big engine thing, and then from there we can go up to the top of the ship. That's where the guy in charge is. I've only seen him once or twice, but he's extra mean. I guess you'll probably have to kill him or something, huh? I'll stay right with you. Listen, I know how this shit works. We all go together, and we all get wiped out at the same time. No offense, but I'm gonna hang back for a bit. You need someone to keep an eye out behind you anyway. Don't worry, I'll catch up with you soon enough. For a second, there's more of them coming. I 
guess they're already looking for us. I can sneak past them in the vents, but you're too big to fit. We'll have to figure out how to get around. Wow, really? I get to use a grenade? Neat! Cool. Give me just a second to get behind them.
stay here until it's safe, okay? Okay, I'll show you what I found. If you want to get out of here, I think it'll help. Come on, follow me. Aw, oh, nuts. They turned it off! Last time I was here, I used this to get to the top of the ship. It's kind of like an elevator, only it doesn't just go up and down. It feels sort of tingly, too. They must be pretty angry that we're exploring. Oh, I know. Come on, I know another way up. So, this is it. Pretty neat, huh? I've never had the courage to wake them up. But I think you're going to need to. The spaceman has a suit, and we need him to use it. Well, because he's got a space suit. Can't go out in space without one. And if we're going to escape, we need to go outside. If they turn off the elevator things, that's the only other way to go. So we need a suit. See? Simple. I've seen these all over. They put people in them and the people go to sleep. They stay asleep for a really long time, too. Be careful if you touch them, though. They're really cold. I don't know. I've never talked to them. Sometimes I'd come and look at them and wonder why they're dressed like that. You see that one guy? He has this really neat suit on, like armor or something. And that other guy? He looks just like a cowboy. I saw pictures of cowboys in books. I never saw a real one, though. This is going to be so neat! about sums it all up. The world is still a huge mess. Oh, I wish they could fix that. I hate it being down there. There isn't anyone left to fix anything. 
Everything's in ruins. People are still fighting to survive, and I don't see anything that can change that. Maybe we should just stay up here then. I hated when it was like that. Hey, at least down there we're free. Well, most of us anyway. So let's just get the hell out of here. Hiya, mister. Wow. So you were down there when all this started. Right before the bombs fell. That's crazy. I guess so. I can't believe they went ahead with the nukes. I mean, they wiped everything out. How stupid could they be? You don't seem the soldier type, Decorian. Why the heck did you join the army in the first place? Join? I was forced into service. I worked in a hospital before I was in the army. They put the gun in my hand. Ever pull the trigger on that gun? You know, ever kill someone? Yeah, hey there, need something? One. So, are your parents anywhere aboard this ship? Nah, just me and my sister. I don't know what happened to my parents. Your sister's up here? Where are they? Where are the little buggers? Aliens? That what you call them? So you woke me, huh? Who the hell are you? Do I really look that stupid, kid? This ain't a ship. I don't hear water, and I sure as hell don't feel us rocking. So tell me another one. Besides, you don't look trapped to me. How do I know you ain't working with those little green bastards? You got a funny way of talking, kid. But you know what? I think you're my best bet to get the hell back home. Tell you what, I usually ride solo, but I'll stick with you for now. You try and pull anything stupid, and I'll bury you. Doesn't matter now. Only important thing is, well, I guess it's revenge. Doesn't matter. They're not getting it, whatever it is. Can't say as it matters, or that I'd feel like telling you anyway. Okay, let me ask you something. You ever listen to the two people you care most about in this world screaming in pain? Huh? You ever watch them screaming, looking to you to save them, only you can't do anything about it? If you had any idea what that feels like, you'd know damn well it's not okay. I lost my wife and my boy to these monsters, and they are going to suffer for it. No sense in dwelling on it now. Let's just get out of here. No You go do what you have to do. さっぱりわからん。ここがどこなのか申せ。拙者の剣はどうした？ さっぱりわからん。なんとかしてくれ。何が起こったのか見当がつかぬ。妖怪から身を守るには。What? I've never seen any of you before in my life. Last people I saw were... Oh my god! Aliens! I was taken by aliens! You! You must be the aliens trying to get into my mind. Well, that's not gonna work! Private Elliot Tekorian. 
U.S. Army medic, serial number 3477809. That's all I'm telling you. Ha! <laughs> that doesn't mean anything. You could be one of those little green guys in human form. Or maybe you are human, and they just took over your mind. We have no idea how limitless their powers are. No! Please don't! It's horrible in there! To think I was just sitting there, frozen like that! I thought I was dead! Just help me get the hell out of this place. I want to get back home. Back to my squad. Wait a minute. My men. My unit. Have you seen them? Oh my god. I'm responsible for them, and now they're lost, or dead. Please, if you mean what you say, that we're all in this together, then you've got to help me find out what happened to them. No, no, don't do it! Don't do it! It's just that this whole situation is unbelievable. I think I need a few minutes to take a breather. I'd really like to, but when I woke up on this ship for the first time, all of my medical gear was gone. I saw that the aliens on this ship have some sort of viscous stuff they slather onto wounds, some kind of biological gel. Get me some of that, and I might be able to mess around with it, make some sort of adapted biogel we can use on ourselves. I'm still gonna need more alien biogel before I can make any more of the healing gel. Well, it was getting dark. We'd spent the day out in the trenches, keeping as many of the guys alive as we could. Chinese had been pounding on us all day with artillery from these huge guns they had up on the mountains. It was really a mess. Anyway, we pitched our tents and stowed our gear to try and catch some shut-eye. I woke up suddenly, Private Dawkins screaming. He was bathed in some kind of blue light coming from the sky. All of us just froze as he just, well, vanished. We didn't know what happened. Did the Chinese come up with some new weapon? Moments later, all of us were in the blue light, too. The rest, you know. Maybe they're gonna take over the whole planet. Like, maybe they've been coming here for hundreds, no, thousands of years, waiting to hit us when we're not expecting it. And then they wipe us out and strip the planet of all its resources. I bet that's it. Me? Well, I was a medic with the 108th Infantry Battalion stationed at Anchorage, Alaska. I was with a squad of five other medics. Our job was to patch everyone up after the commies gunned them down. It was pretty bloody. Nothing at all like I expected when I gave up my hospital job to enlist in the army. He looks like a Japanese samurai. Guess the aliens must have plucked him from Earth a long time ago. I can't understand a word he's saying. Just hurry up and find us a way off the ship before we all end up frozen again. Ship is huge. How did they build something this big? If you got something you want to say, spit it out. Actually, I do. I used to tinker with all sorts of junk back home. I'd be glad to take a look at what you need fixed, but it's gonna cost you some caps. Maybe to you, it does, but hey, I gotta think about the future. If we get back down there and I'm broke, how am I gonna survive? You know as well as I do that there are no handouts in the wasteland. Good. I'm glad we see eye to eye. Now, let me see what you need fixed.
astronaut. Those freezers are so dangerous. Sometimes people don't wake up. I guess you better take his suit. You're going to have to go if he can't. But first, you have to get to the door to the outside. They'll be waiting for you. But you can suck out all the air and part of the ship so they won't get in your way. They have these generator things that power parts of the ship and make sure it has air. You'll have to turn some of them off. There's one in the cryo lab, one in the hangar bay, and one where they make the robots, the robot assembly area. Once they're all broken, you can get through that door to the outside. And then, once you get to the top of the ship, you can turn the teleporter thing back on, and I can catch up to you. I guess it's time for me to get those doors unlocked for you now. This is fun. Oh, you'll know them when you see them. You push this button, and then this big thing is like, whoosh, and it comes out of the floor. And then there are these things you press down, and it goes, and then you better get out of the way. You'll see. Um, I think he's from the Earth's past. There are people frozen all over the ship that the aliens grabbed, wearing funny old-time clothes and stuff. Don't go alone. Those generators are in scary places. Take one of the grown-ups with you. Oh, hey, what's up? Hmm. Sounds like I may be of some use in there. If there are other people in stasis, I could help revive them or something. Just watch my back. Okay. It's a pretty big place, and I've only seen some of it. They always catch me before I see the whole thing. I've seen the cryo lab. That's where they freeze people and cut them up and stuff. And the hangar. That has the aliens' flying ships and all the stuff they need to fly them. And the robot assembly is where they build the big metal robots they use. But the real important stuff is on the top of the ship. I've never been there. Speak your peace. Well, now you're speaking my language. Hell yeah, I'll come with you. You go do... So, what's your story, tough guy?
it at all. What the hell? Hell is that thing? Whoa, I don't know what those tall shiny things are, but I'd stay away from them if I was you. There's a whole bunch of important looking gizmos up there. That's gotta be where the generator machine is. That sound is can't be good. Watch yourself. I think we're about to I'll stay up here to draw a bead on the aliens as they rush us. If they get near those towers, hit the buttons and fry. Holy hell! Those towers made out of lightning or something. in half! Damn things are coming from the generator room. How many of these things? Kill all of them!
Yeah? What is- The only thing useful in here is me and my gun. Now let's keep moving. Some sort of foreigner, obviously. Can't make out a word he's saying. Let's get rid of that machine, and then get the hell out of here. That ought to piss those aliens off. If we're done here, we should get back to the others. not going anywhere. Why don't we just hold on to him and try to negotiate? Y you know, like a hostage. And how are we supposed to do that? We can't understand what the hell they're saying. I don't know. But maybe we should... There must be something. No sense discussing it now. Second. Sure. What did you want? Hey, you're doing great. Only two more generators and we can move on. Just hang in there. I know this is rough. Isn't it off? Once they've figured out when they've copied enough. Okay. You seem like you know your way around. Nice work taking out the generator. Only. No idea what his deal is. Sounds like that gibberish you can pick up on the radio in some parts of the wasteland. Yes, yeah, sure. I'll keep your spot warm. You blew up one of the generators! We might actually get out of here! I knew it! I knew it. The lights went out for a few seconds and I just knew you took out one of the... Sister's up here? Have you seen her? Well, I saw her once when I first woke up on the ship. Whoa, hang on a tick. I don't know anything about anything in this section, so I'm heading back to the engine core.
of those damn generators to go, and we can get the hell out of here.
Games, time to die.
Get that suit on and get outside. The sooner we get out of here, the better. I guess we're done down here. Time to take the fight to the aliens. You did it! Now you're gonna have to go outside of the ship. I know it looks scary, but that's the only way to the top. Oh, make sure you wear a spacesuit before you go out there, or you could die. Don't forget! What are you looking at? Hey, don't forget to put on the astronaut suit before starting the decompression sequence. <laughs>
It's kind of exciting, isn't it? I've never seen this part of the ship before. It's so pretty, isn't it? Didn't think I'd ever see something like this. That's really something. Almost enough to make you forget we're running for our lives up here. Not really the time for gawking. Sorry, I should get the door. Hang on, okay? Did you see that? Scary, but also kind of a stupid move on their part, don't you think? Pretty obvious, wasn't it? They're putting on a big show trying to scare us. Means we're getting under their skin. That's a good thing. Of course, now it looks like we've got a big death ray thing we need to take down before they blow up the whole damn planet. But it's nice to know we're having an effect, don't you think? Oh no! They turned this one off too! You're going to have to find the other end and turn it back on. That doesn't seem like a very good idea. If they turned it off, that means they know we're here. And they're probably waiting on the other side of that door. It'd be smarter if just one person went and checked it out. Don't worry, we'll be safe right here. Good luck. I can't get off this ship fast enough.
quite sure where to go. But I think if we keep going this way, we'll find what we're looking for.
just like the bridge on Captain Cosmos. I'm Soma. Stella Skyfire reporting for duty. She's Captain Cosmos' second in command, at least for the first few episodes. I think I have that ship targeted, but you'll have to find the firing control. Mr. Elliot, you're there. Also, you can the moon, and I get to aim the death ray. I am no goddamn space monkey. I've got a lock on their ship. Fire when ready. get to do something like this. Shit, they hit the core and sapped out power. Look around for some buttons or something to restart the generators. Wait, did anyone hear that? A little busy here. It's in here if it gets rough. As you say, kindly invite the oriental gentleman with the sword to join us. Now! Hello, Samurai! Glad you're still alive. Yeah, this is not a thing. This is not a this fast. is just like the last What can I do for you, Mr. Hotshot Space Captain? If there's more of them out there, 
That'll make them think twice about attacking us again. And it looks like you're now in charge of your very own spaceship. Well, what's left of it anyway. Congrats! That's right. If it weren't for me, you'd be sitting in a holding cell or lying on some crazy operating table right now. You owe me big time, kid. I'm gonna see about getting off this thing. Head back to the wasteland with some new toys, maybe carve out a place for myself. Literally, if I have to. Odds are we won't be bumping into each other again, so I just wanted to say thanks. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. Not really something I'm interested in doing again. Sure thing. We did it! We really did it! Oh man, I can't believe it! I never thought we'd make it. You're the best, the absolute best. I'd be dead without you, or worse. Thank you so much. Oh, come on. We both know you could have. I don't know. I don't really have a place down there anymore, do I? Doesn't sound like it'd suit me very well. Think I'll stick around here for a while. See if I can't figure out some of this technology. Boy, I sure hope not. But at least we know what to do with them, right? Be careful down there. Astronaut Sally, at your service. Yeah! We won! I knew we could do it! I knew we could beat them! You're even better than Captain Cosmos! I know. And you're very welcome. I think I'm gonna stay here for a while. I don't think I like it much down there anymore. And there's still a bunch of the ship I haven't seen. I'll tell you what, if I find anything really neat, I'll bring it to you. Okay? See you later! Hey, I thought you should know, someone must have hit a button during the fight just now. If I understood the display correctly, I think we sort of launched a homing beacon of some kind down to the surface. Landed just outside DC. I wouldn't mention it, except that I think... Like I said, I'm not sure. I think it's a way to get back to Earth. Seems like there's a teleporter in the captain's quarters. I mean, I guess they're your quarters now. So I, I guess you can go home if you want. Oh, don't worry, I I'll stick around up here and keep an eye on things. <laughs> それまでは、どうしてはならん。